Girl, listen, we got to talk about our girl, Fancy. You guys know who that is? Okay, so her real name is uh, Garcia, but we all know her from Jamie Foxx. You know, she played the girl, Fancy. She's so beautiful. Let me tell you, she's on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Mind you, she's been married twice, okay? Girl, 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 this last story that she's telling... Girl, when I tell you, it touched so many people. Did you know her husband was living a double life? Yes, girl. He had another woman that he was with while he was with Fancy, okay? Married to her ass. Ain't that something? She said she was all shocked and shook up. She thought this was going to be it. You know, she ain't think she had to look no more. She ain't think she was going to date no more. This was the love of her life, you know? He always was taking her to parties and making her feel special. But in the meantime, he had somebody on the side that he was in love with, girl. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? So before I start, I just want to let you guys know, if you're first time here at Gossip Girl XOXO, baby, you are in for a treat over here. We gossip and we get down. And we don't only gossip up here. We go to the community tab and we always uploading inspirational quotes, you know, uploading celebrity photos. You know, dragging their ass, and we uplift them too. We had a good time over here, especially the comments. The Gossip Gang really makes this channel pop. So, special shout out to all the Gossip Gang members out there. And while we're speaking of the shout outs, a uh, shout out to our Gossip Gang member, Felicia Maria. Yes, honey, you were first. All right. She was like, Am I first? Am I first? Yes, Felicia Maria. You first, boo. You got it. All right, so listen, we're going to play the audio of Miss Fancy. I just like calling her Fancy. Uh, we're going to play the audio of that. We're going to hear that. We're going to talk about it some more. And listen, if you want me to shout you out, baby, you ain't nothing but a chicken wing for me. I love shouting my people out. I love showing you guys love. I really appreciate it. All you got to do is always comment. Be one of the first to comment. Always comment. And I'm going to shout you out. That's what someone Mike Nylon and I were married almost nine years. We were sort of like the Hollywood couple. I'm an actress, he's an agent. We would go to fabulous parties. We got these two beautiful boys. Mike was reliable, he was sweet. I really thought this was my last stop. I remember the day that my life just changed from what I knew it. It was like a death. Yeah. You know, like to see you know where you came from. You know right? the heartache, you know the all of it. And then one day, nine years ago, I said, hey, Mike, can I use your phone? And mm. so I look at the phone and I see a text that said, I love you. And I go, hey, what's this? Mm. And his face changed. And he said, I've been having an affair. And I said, how long? <sighs> and he said, five years. I want to cry because I feel like to be sharing this with some like, you seeing it has made it real because I've been coming on my own, you know? I'm a hothead. So that night I wrote an email to friends and colleagues at Mike's work. And the subject was, what does Tiger Woods, Jesse James, and Mike Nylon have in common? And that email got leaked to the press. The journey that you did from there yeah. to now, yeah. can you say that you're grateful for that happening? Yeah. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Same. But Same. I know who I am. I know how much I've grown. What happened to that woman my was see? I have no idea what happened. I was devastated. So I didn't care what happened to her. My priority was taking care of my like. All right. So let's talk about it. Are you guys ready to gossip about it? By you guys hearing it, comment, let us know. Some things I will like to point out. Um, fancy, I'm so proud of you. They said, so what happened to the other woman? She said, that ain't none of my damn business. I'm not concerned about no other woman. And don't you ask me about no other woman. I'm concerned about healing in myself. When I tell you that was a perfect answer because so many people, they get so soon and obsessed about the other girl. They're trying to compare them to the other girl. Well, was she cuter? And then she do it like this. And why you pick her over me? 
I'm so happy for you, Fancy. I feel like Fancy, she's so mature. She's so ladylike about the situation. And we need to see more of the Fancies out here in this world. And another thing, a lot of people was very sidetracked about Fancy husband being Caucasian. They was like, nah, see, I thought white people don't cheat. I thought white men don't cheat. They all, everybody cheat. All races cheat. I'm, I'm most likely they all cheat, goddamn it. So anyway, I think some races probably cheat more than other races, so report it, you know. Anywho, who cares? A cheater is a cheater, you know. It's all wrong, right? Okay, let's move on. So let's talk about um, the fact that he was honest about it, you know. So many men I know of would switch that shit around. Oh, uh, why are you going through my phone? They will pick arguments with you. Why you do that? You see you starting some bull crap. See, so you, you looking for drama. Now you're going to get drama. And I'm so happy that he was, he should have been way honest about her, about the situation because he's been lying. He's been living a double life this whole time. But when confronted, he did not try to uh, blame it on her. He did not try to make up a lie and, oh, she tripping or she is stalking me. I don't like her, you know, or try to lie. Well, you know, I'm going to break up with her. She ain't nothing. I really want you and doing it to make you feel some type of way. He was honest. He said, listen, I've been having an affair with her for five years, you know, and I thank him for that. He should have been honest way before, but at least when confronted, he was really straightforward with it. So many people, when they're confronted and when they're caught up, they lie. They have so much damn excuse why they did it, why they won't do it again. And uh, they want to work on their goddamn marriage. Meantime, they still doing the do behind your damn back. Girl, okay? So I'm happy for that. Another thing people were talking about in this situation the fact after she got mad I mean after she realized she got cheated she went and she told her her um co-workers you know and that got leaked to the press some people felt like you should have kept it to yourself some people felt like your co-workers was real messy of course they was it wasn't really your friend you know I would think that she would just talk to a friend about the situation, not the whole co-workers, because clearly you see they don't have your best interest at heart. You're dealing with this issue. You heartbroken. The last thing you need to do is to read about it in the tabloids and have everybody rumor and gossiping about you and all this speculation. That's the last thing you want. And for a friend or a co-worker to go out and expose your, your situation and exploit that, it's wrong, and they're not a friend of you. They're not. They're not. They're not. That's wrong as hell. And um, I'm happy that she has healed. It seemed like she's healed from this situation, and she's in a much better space. So many people after this, they would have been stuck in that same space, upset at themselves, blaming themselves, trying to figure out, trying to work it out. But it seemed like she has moved on. And it's for the better. So I'm proud of her. Another thing I'm proud that she's able to tell her story, you know, to help other people, you know. So go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Now, some people felt like uh, what she mean by, you know, this situation helped her be better, you know. Um, Like she said, she wouldn't wish it on her worst enemy. But I guess for her going through so much hell and drama, um, it showed her how much strength that she had. You know, some people believe, Sai, you don't know your strength unless you go through a lot of stuff, you know? So, yeah, you know, that's all I can say about that. And if you guys have any more information about this situation, please comment. Let us know what you guys think about it. I was reading some comments on some other blogs, and girl, they were saying every girl needs to prepare for when they man cheats. How do you guys feel about that? Do you feel like every man is going to cheat? Do you feel like the relationships you're going to get into, um, you have to prepare yourself for a man cheating on you? You know, is it just that they're going to end up cheating on you? And that's just it? Well, shit, what's the purpose of getting married? What's the purpose of saying I do and being faithful and committing if it's all a lie? 
You know, if they're going to sit up here and lie to you. Hmm. I don't know. Comment, let us know what you guys think about this. I love you guys so much. I'm sorry I'm coming to y'all so late night. But hey, better late than never. And I'll see you guys sooner than later. Bye.